A very good morning from my retreat at the base of Cleve Hill in the Cotswolds, not very far from Cheltenham, of course, connecting with you on this Wednesday. It is now the 13th of March. Well, today I've got a bet for you in the 450 race, which I'm going to give you free. This is a chaser with limited experience over fences, but I think he's going to love the conditions and at a double figure price can go really well for us. Yesterday wasn't my uh, finest start to a Cheltenham, although the Mark Your Card service got off to a really good, solid start. Winners and big placed horses on that, including Lucia, placed, of course, in the champion hurdle at 33 to 1. Now, today, if you want to get the Mark Your Card, there are three days left of this facility, £20 for three days. My best bets and my value but picks for the remainder of the meeting. That can be yours for £20 if you click the link below, the PayPal link, and you will find out today all of my advices for all seven races. I say seven. There is an inspection going on now to find out whether the cross-country race can take place. Please go ahead do that now and then you will be in and you won't miss anything now let's look at the grand annual challenge cup this is the penultimate race on the card run at 450 and it's a race where in such a big field you do need a little bit of luck in running but jamie snowden he's responsible for a horse here right down at the base of the handicap called hardy du Soye, ridden by gavin sheehan and this horse, when it was trained in France, well, it loved to get its toe into the ground. And since coming over from France, it's interesting that Jamie has campaigned this horse, first of all, in novice handicap chases in one season, that was two seasons back, in which he was successful. And then last season, reverting to hurdles, handicap hurdles, and running him only in that class of race. Now, the tables are turned again and he's come out as a handicap chaser and he had one readying run at Sandown the other day. I was most taken with it. He stayed on to finish an honourable third and I think that's going to put the, shall we say, the uh, shine on him for today. It's put him cherry ripe, hardy de Sui, love the conditions, low weight, getting stacks from his rivals. He can be finishing when some of the others have had enough. 10 to 1 with several firms, including Paddy Power, William Hill, all of them going five places each way. Hardy to say, and until tomorrow at the same time, this is Neil saying have a great day ahead.